The air goes in at this point. There's the air regulator. Regulator gauge. And the water separator. The air comes in via a pipe. That is, you need to buy a quarter inch quick release coupling to mate because we don't know what kind you have and you screw it in here using Teflon tape. The regulator to go into adjusting mode you lift the cap up and you'll see the red line which indicates in, in adjusting mode. You want to set your gauge to 60 PSI or 4 bar. The water separator takes the sludge from your air compressor, water and oil, and expels it. It's a little brass valve. It'll work automatically when you take the air off, but it also, you can manually do it by pulling down on the little brass valve. The next item is the automatic oiler. The automatic oiler is usually on much more expensive machines. It's a fairly expensive item. But it really makes your machine last a lot longer. You have a sight glass, an adjusting knob, and an oil fill port. You unscrew the fill port. It's just a simple unscrew. Put a funnel in, because you can't do it otherwise. Buy Marvel's Mystery Oil, because it's pleasant smelling. It's a pneumatic oil for this purpose. Do not use any other motor oil. Then you just replace the cap tightly and you're ready to go. The adjusting knob is right here. So good way to do it is to tighten it all the way down and then adjust it. But for our demonstration here, I'm going to open it quite a bit and we're going to produce quite a bit of oil so that you can see how it works in the sight glass. You can see I'm pushing on the foot valve. Make sure you have no staples. Nobody's hands are up above when you're doing this. You can see a lot of oil coming. That's way too much. You really would like to have somewhere in the neighborhood every 15 to 30 foot pedal pushes one drop of oil. You'll see it coming up now. We're pushing the pedal and it's climbing up and here comes a drop of oil and that gets sent into the airstream and dissipated through your machine preserving its life. 